Hello, and welcome back to NetHack Fork. Let's play NetHack Fork. I've had a bit of a hiatus here, so those of you, I apologize to those of you who are watching these as they come out, because it's been, I think, several weeks since I recorded. Um, I didn't intend to let it go for that long. Uh, it just, it, it wasn't one single delay. There were several different delays that happened to coincide and happened to happen back to back. So, uh, I am going to get back into the game now, and hack fork. In our last episode, we had blanked a bunch of potions of water. We originally went, well, see, we had broken in the previous, not last episode, but the one before last, we'd broken our armor in a polymorph trap. And so we went back to the mines looking for Mithril. We didn't find Mithril. We did finally find an elven cloak, although not in the mines. <laughs> but uh, we didn't find Mithril. Uh, so we are still without good body armor. But we blanked a bunch of potions and then came here to level 12 in the dungeon where there is this lawful altar. Now, I'm not lawful. I'm neutral, being a Valkyrie. Um, and so I would like to convert this altar. So that is what we are planning to do here. There aren't any, aren't any monsters to sacrifice on this level. So I'm going to give it a large count. And just search. Um, until... Some time passes. No. Uh, you know what? Do I have any... I probably should have used create monster items. If I happen to have any. But I don't have any with me. So we'll just wait. I'll get hungry. And eat... Um, a fortune cookie. It was delicious. Uh, never play leapfrog with a unicorn. Okay, yeah. I, I agree with that advice. It's good advice. Let's see. I have another fortune cookie, do I not? Just because someone doesn't attack doesn't mean he won't get in your way. That is certainly true. I'll have to get rid of that fortune when I rebase on Fickhack because it lets you displace. Ah, here we go. A Yeti. Let's sacrifice that. Oh, good. The sacrifice is consumed in a burst of flame. You sense a conflict between Odin and Tyr. I expected that. You feel the power of Odin increase. Odin is the neutral god as it happens. We looked that up last episode. I had to go back and watch last episode. It had been so long since I recorded. But yes, I looked that up last episode and Odin is the neutral deity. Um, so I feel the power of Odin increase and the altar oh, glows gray. That means I now have a neutral altar. So, I can take out these 19 uncursed clear potions. Actually, Let's not do all 19. Let's do about 16 of them. Uh, because I have unholy water back at my stash. Then again, I can always have more water. Uh, in fact, I left... Come to think of it... I left some uh, potions that are probably object detection at my stash. Which I can clear if I need water for something. So if I need to make unholy water to curse something in the future. I'll be able to do so. Let's go ahead and turn all of these into holy water. Now, when was the last time that I prayed? 
Let's look at the history and go down to the bottom. I prayed to Odin on turn 23,566 when I was in the mines for prayer. That was a couple thousand turns ago. We're going to risk it. We're going to go ahead and pray and hope he doesn't get annoyed with me for praying too often. Good. You're surrounded by a shimmering light. The potions on the altar glow light blue for a moment. Uh, Odin is well pleased. Oh, and my stomach feels content. Into the bargain. Okay, I now have holy water. Lots and lots of potions of holy water. I'm going to put most of that back into my bag, but I wanted to dip something that I have. What is it? Um, the touchstone. Okay, then we also want to dip the Lux Stone. Um, Okay, let's drop some of the worthless glass. Okay, um, now I want to go to the nearest um, magic chest because I want to unburden myself by putting most of these holy water in a stash. So let's look at the dungeon overview. We're now on 12. The stairs to Sokobot are on level 8. So let's go up. Anything here that I want? Take an oven cloak in case it's better than my current one. Um. Sure. Let's go over here and check those cloaks at this altar. And there's a cursed one which we will drop. And we'll drop the spare one as well. We're still at plus zero, but that's okay. The stairs to Sokoban are not very far up from here. In fact, I think they're on the next level. Yes. Let's go there. Okay. 
potions. I'm going to take about 14 of those potions of holy water and also the uncursed puce potion. And stash them. So we're now unencumbered. Is there anything else we want to stash while we are here? Not really. Might as well identify some of these gems because we can. Okay, now I'm going to put most of the gems back, but I'm going to keep out the Lux Stone, the Touchstone, and a small number of others uh, in case I run into a co-aligned unicorn so I can um, max out my luck, which would be good to do. Uh, also, while I'm in Sokoban, if there's a bunch of food sitting around... Uh, in Sokoban, I would like to stuff a bunch of it into the magic chest. That's not mithril, is it? No, it's iron shoes, which I don't care about. Looking for armor. I still don't have decent body armor. Uh... At some point, at some point, I will uh, go for dragon scales, actually. Oh, there's gold pieces there that I never picked up. Okay, most of that I don't care about. Oh, there's a cloak of invisibility there that I could take out. I don't think I want it. I think I'd rather stick with the elven cloak. Oh, there's one I haven't alter checked. Okay, there's stud in leather armor. I could check that at an altar, and it might be okay, but it's, it's not that helpful. It's not that good. It doesn't give me that many points of a, of defense. Uh, I think I'm going to let it go for now. Okay. Uh, but what I wanted to do is put in a couple of food rations 
Um, that's why I came and re-explored, as it were, uh, Sokoban. Is because Sokoban has plenty of food. light. Actually, that's spare. I'm already carrying one. So we'll stash that for now. Alright. Uh, so it's time to get on with the game. Uh, we didn't find the mithril we were hoping for. Maybe we'll end up with Dragon Scales instead. You know what? No, I'm only experience level 12. I was going to say there's the portal to the quest, but I'm only experience level 12, so it hardly matters. At some point, I'll find some wraiths or something. There's a bunch of food rations. Just annotate that. I hear someone counting money. That means there's a vault on this level. Do I have my pickaxe with me? I do. I have my pickaxe with me. So let's see if we can find the vault. That's quite a bit of gold. Is that enough to buy protection? Uh, at experience level 12. Un momento. I majored in math. So you'd think I could do that in my head. That is just barely enough to buy protection. So I'll keep that in mind. That's something I could also be doing soon. Oh, this level has a flare. Um, back up. Until I think about what to do about that. Oh, I have controlled teleportitis, don't I? Yep. Where is he on here? We will... Use our control teleportitis again. Good. Boy, that hit our power very hard. Uh, doing a teleport at will deliberate teleport twice in a row hit our power very hard but I'm not sure I care because 
I'm not going to be casting spells as a Valkyrie. And anyway, it's back up now. Alright, where are the eels? And things. There's a Tengu. I don't care now because I already have teleport control. I'm not sure I want to go that close to that eel. We'll go down here. Winged gargoyle, I don't mind. I can deal with that. Uh, winged gargoyles hit pretty hard when you first reach the levels where they can generate. Uh, when you first get to the point where uh, winged gargoyles can generate, they're dangerous. But um, I'm okay. My defense could be better, but it isn't bad. You know, I could break that statue. Another sack. The buckled boots are probably levitation. But they're probably cursed. Because they came from Perseus. Um, let's drop. What else do I not need here? I guess we're okay. If we go to the castle, maybe we'll get dragon scales. And then, maybe we could make dragon scale meal. That would be good. What time is it going to be? We got a little bit of time yet. Uh, where am I? Oh, there. Okay. Oh, quivering blob, right. We'll leave the potion of booze on the floor. I don't think monsters will bother a potion of booze. Oh, that's quite some lag. What have I got that I can throw? Just the silver spear. Okay, we will just wait for it to step next to me and deal with it that way. Slurping sounds. There's a potion of water. Monsters definitely won't bother that. I could explore the rest of this level. The slurping sounds, by the way, Kill that right away. Oh, no, it's not. I thought for a second that the C had changed into an O, and that it was therefore a shape changer, but it's not. Uh, slurping sounds, by the way, mean um, a gelatinous cube. I'm going to watch my HP really closely here, because that is a lot of... Yeah those all at once and they're potentially dangerous in groups that size. I'm going to go back up here to the level with the gelatinous cube. 
uh, for just long enough to let my hit points regenerate. Dwarf Lord. No, Mithril. Oh, I should pick up the scroll of teleportation. Um, okay. What do I want to drop? A tripration. I don't actually need that many triprations at this point. Uh, taming dogs isn't really very important. I'm going to go ahead and go down. Okay, what am I carrying that I just don't need to be? That spell book. Let's leave it for now. I can always pick it up later. Oh, I'm getting a teleport prompt. Stalker corpse. I don't happen to have a tending kit, do I? I don't think I'd be carrying it even if I did for weight reasons because I don't have a bag of holding. Go ahead and eat the quivering blob. Oh, a jabberwock. Okay, we're going to control T to the upstairs and go up. There's a wraith. That will be nice. I would like to eat that wraith. But, um, but we're going to have to wait until we recover some hit points because that jabberwock hit me rather hard. Eat the gelatinous cube. Oh good! Your health currently feels amplified. That is one of the worst puns in the game. Uh, and it means I have shock resistance now, which is one of the harder resistances to get. Okay, what is here that I want I want the tin. I should go ahead and eat the tin in case it's something useful like spinach. White unicorns. Okay, yes, go ahead. That has a chance of granting poison resistance, which I think I already have, but you know. It's only a tin. It's not the full level of nutrition from eating the entire corpse. Okay, I don't need any of the rest of that, do I? I don't think so. I'm still not up to... Uh, there we go. Hit points. That's better. There, level 13. Okay, blue dragon. Have to be a little bit careful about that. But maybe I can get scales. I found blue dragon scales. Okay, I have shark resistance already, so I don't need that corpse. The conical hat is polyfodder, and right now I don't care. But I'm carrying scales. I don't care about the scroll of light right now. Um, I can unblind myself that way. Okay, I have to decide, do I want to take those blue dragon scales and make dragon scale mail out of them? And I think I do, because I don't have decent body armor right now at all. It's not like I'm just upgrading from mithril to something lighter. I've got nothing. So I think I want to take those and make dragon scale mail.
Um, this is NetHack Fork. Let me make sure here, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be the version that's on the server. Right, 4.3.0.4. So it still has traditional Dragon Scale Mail, meaning that those Dragon Scales will become the Dragon Scale Mail. In the next version, 4.3.0.5, there's a change uh, where you take some kind of armor and wear the Dragon Scales over them and make Dragon Scaled whatever mail like a dragon scaled mithril or dragon scaled crystal plate mail or dragon scaled leather armor or whatever but um in this version it's still the traditional net hack dragon scale mail so i can take those blue scales and turn them into really good body armor and then my defense will be good um so i think i will do that next time i'm going to wrap the episode here and uh Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope to get back into the swing of things here of recording every uh, every few days, uh, at least once a week, if not twice a week, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. But I want to get back into the swing of recording here. I'm hoping that those long uh, delays are past. But thanks for watching, and uh, next time join us as we seek to convert blue dragon scales into scale mail. Thanks for watching, and I will see you then.